We're in today with the legendary GTX Titan. This is a 2013 video card with 2688 shaders. It's got 6 gig of VRAM GGDR5 running at 837 megahertz on the core clock, 1502 megahertz on the memory clock, 384 bits bus width, and today we're gonna pair it up with this legend of an i7-6950X with 10 cores and 20 threads. This is a very interesting video card with a very interesting uh, cooling solution but the best thing i can do for this video card is just jump in a couple of games and see how it holds let's go let's start with battlefield one and see how it's performing with ultra details i got 60 fps if it's not holding 60 fps i'm gonna lower the quality but it's on ultra details and this is a good quality holy smoke how nice it looks definitely holding okay 60 fps on average 63 on average not a bad performance from this we are getting lucky with this and actually have decent performance on ultra with 1440p man never expected this video card to work really nice i got nice temperature 55 degrees on this maximum load core 3.3 gig of vram allocated in this case on the system side i got 10.4 gig of uh, system ram utilized 16 gig of uh, virtual memory it's holding with 23 percent load on the cpu side the frame time it's good it's not that bad when it comes to this game with this resolution I dip. if it's holding 60 fps this is the only thing that matters that's it you know most of the time when i'm playing a game like this with uh, with an old gpu like this you're gonna see that it's not performing really well on a resolution i guess but 4040p with ultra details and it's working like this yeah i'll take it seriously i'll take this performance i got 420 watts consumption from this and it's holding pretty well i like the performance this video card is offering no high temperature no nothing you know it needs to be perfect because this is an good io and the temperature needs to be spot on with this for light on the other hand with uh, 1440p and extreme uh, quality and that is the most fascinating here 4.6 gig of vram allocated and 3.8 on uh, on the process side it's doing the job the video card is being utilized here because it's got a lot of quality i think uh, there is an fsr option that is for performance because uh, you get quality or performance and uh, you know what let's put it to performance because i didn't know how it was working 250 watts uh, consumption from the video card 60 degrees with an io well considering how many watts this com computer is consuming i will say it's uh, yeah it's, it's, it's justified this uh, performance 47 on minimal 47 on one percent on the vram its allocation is good system wise i got 10 percent load 10 15 percent load on the cpu side with 9.3 gig of system ram on the system ram is doing okay the computer doesn't have any problems 15 gig of virtual memory extreme without any motion blur weapon motion blur i don't want that high quality 100 percent render scale i think this is going to degrade the performance but if i put uh, here screen space reflection it's gonna put uh, this video card in not a good uh, performance seriously so everything is there on extreme as a profile with performance and it's doing a fantastic job i like it i like this game how it's performing it's got a lot of options for this old video card my way it will be with low details and disable the quality and putting 300 fps so i can get as many fps as possible so i can benefit from this 300 uh, fps using a display port in the back you know or an hdmi with high frequency with high refresh rate that's how i would like to play this game i need more w's for this video card i want uh, 1440p with normal details with directx 11 in gta 5 but this is uh, the legacy one i want this uh, to run with as many as fps as possible i want the cpu to be the problem here in this situation because i want this video card to show me that it's possible to have a lot of fps with this so until now i put it on 1440p with maximum details and keep creating problems i was like okay so now i want more fps so i want to shift the problem from this gpu to the cpu so in gta 5 in old gta 5 i know i have problems with the cpu so i was like okay so let's uh, take this uh, for a spin and see how it's performing you know very interesting performance it looks very sharp with uh, 1440p like i said i put directx 11 because that is a good resolution for this so if you put uh, lower normal quality i think higher resolution is gonna help you in this case i got 68 fps 
Otherwise, this is good. 55% load on the GPU side. Not a big problem here with the video card in this case because it's distressing it. Because the CPU is the problem. I got 11.6 gig of system RAM utilized and uh, 17, nearly 18 gig of virtual memory. That means the CPU, it's got some very interesting uh, performance from uh, that single core performance uh, situation that is uh, giving me this 57% uh, load on the video card. Not okay, seriously. Not an okay performance on the video card. I mean, I'm very happy that I'm not stressing the video card, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, what do I have to do? Well, I can keep the same FPS, so I can get 70 FPS, and I can start loading up the video card in such a way that uh, uh, it, it doesn't uh, drop the FPS. All right, let's see what we got in the casino. This is good, 55 FPS. So it's not the GPU because it's got 60% load on the core. This is good. This is some very interesting performance from this uh, computer now. I won't say no to that car, but uh, I, I know it, uh, it doesn't give me the car because it's gonna give me crap. You know, a t-shirt or a mystery chips i will take chips the chips is good very good performance so overall performance in gta 5 with this uh, video card it's good you have to do some custom settings here and you can get nice fps so you can actually see the vram is not fully stressed here 3.6 allocated and 1.7 process but i put it on directx 11 maybe it was uh, giving up a little more uh, load on the video card but no it's holding okay theoretically ultra details 1440p in world of tanks let's see how it's running maximum load on the core barely 48 degrees 2.8 uh, gig of vram allocated and 2.4 processed i got 230 watts consumption and nearly 1.16 on the voltage this is good this is a good performance from this i will say the video card is reacting really well to this resolution and this uh, load and i think it's uh, very appropriate got 53 percent fan speed i got a fan on the side that is put on the the system case controller i got on, uh, the pump on the system case uh, number three or four controller and uh, the fan from the radiator is on another system case connector you know everything is put on the system case connector and uh, they're all working very interesting well i'm not gonna lie this is actually an adequate performance with this uh, computer i love this uh, gtx titan how it's holding world of tanks i look at the game and i'm like oh <laughs> can do this all day seriously with this quality and this performance 80 fps 90 fps on average oh my god if i remember how i was playing back in the days with my 9600 gt with low resolution and uh, low quality uh, i was like yep yeah, this is heaven seriously this is a heaven performance or because i got 80 fps on 1440p with ultra details 3.4 gig nearly 3.5 gig of uh, vram allocation it's holding okay on the system side i got like 9.8 gig of uh, system RAM. That's not uh, very low, you know, I 15 gig of uh, virtual memory. It's holding theoretically this uh, computer really well. It's, you can actually see it's doing the job and I can't say really nothing here because uh, I got the performance, I, I got the quality. It's coming and coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love it or hate it, this is the right performance. Oh, look. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, oh. Let me so satisfying no this is interesting seriously to see this computer running like this look at that let's see what we got here i got maximum quality ultra quality with 1440p in this game and uh, i got only 2.5 gig of uh, vram uh, allocation with 1.7 process it's doing the job seriously here the video card it's being utilized with 58 59 degrees on this occasion we'll see if i can get in and see if I can actually do some uh, job here hundreds of fps let's do a reset because it's worth it look at that nice quality system is utilized here 20% load 9.4 gig of uh, system ram utilized with 13.5 gig of uh, system ram 240 watts 62 fps with this occasion considering how much wattage i'm taking with this video card this amount of fps is not that great but it does the job i like the game how it's performing here with this gtx titan on this resolution with this maximum quality i would say this is uh, the most awesome thing i can put on this video card because it does the job performance is here 
weird quality. It's here. System wise, it's not fully stressed here. You know, 9.5 gig of uh, system RAM utilized. After playing a little, you can actually see I'm staying in, on the positive FPS. On 1% to have 59 is not that bad. How about if we're jumping in Grand Theft Starter with this uh, video card in this computer? I got 60 FPS on 1440p with everything turned on at maximum. Very interesting performance from the video card. It's got a lot of FPS. It's got nice performance, nice quality. On the CPU side, it's got a nice performance here with the computer. 20% uh, load, 6.4 gig of system RAM utilized with uh, 11 gig of virtual memory. It's holding okay on the CPU side with uh, 405 watt consumption from the wall <laughs> that means it's utilizing the cpu in some situation but uh, if it's dropping below that means there is no uh, load i mean there is a load on the cpu but it's not a big load in this case the only problem i have is the video card that is stuttering i got 52 degrees very interesting i managed to see it with 60 degrees 61 degrees in a couple of games and it was showing me that the video card can do the job here i got 79 FPS. The only problem I have 27 FPS on one percent. That's not good because let, even if, if I restart it, you're gonna see that uh, it creates a lot of stutter. If the frame time is not very linear, there's a lot of hiccups up and downs, you know. So I, I think I have to drive around the city in order to see how it's averaging because until now everything looks okay. It's like okay, you got playable FPS 40 FPS on one percent is not that bad, you know, with 73 FPS on average. Fan speeds it's not relevant because this is an io and uh yeah 97 percent load on the video card score is good so in all in all i can say this is a nice performance from the video card look at that i actually thought this uh, video card is gonna be batman in this case because uh with 1440p with maximum details i thought the gtx titan is gonna come in uh, assassin's creed here and it's gonna do you know wonders seriously very good very good look at this so i'm actually curious how it's performing oh look at that nice 36 fps here with this resolution and this uh, quality i got 3.8 gig of vram allocated and 3.3 process uh, maximum load on the video card score quality wise is good there's a lot of things i can do here and help the video card in order to get uh, more playable fps but you can definitely see that it's got a lot of options so in this case um, i will call this a win because it's got options so yeah look at this resolution wise it's helping the video card i think that if i if i go on medium to low details you know this resolution is going to help uh, the video card because the resolution is good and with less uh, anti-aliasing quality it will still be okay but i like the effects i like the quality i like the details in the game and how it looks see the fumes oh, this is good man it needs the resolution and the quality seriously maybe lower resolution it will be okay and you'll get more uh, performance and retain the quality on the system side i don't have a lot of load i got barely 20 percent load uh, on the on the cpu with 8.6 gig of system ram this is good and in this case you can see that is working really nice uh, with it you know 16.3 gig of uh, virtual memory that is good it's utilizing the computer and uh, yeah it's holding okay you know 1.16 uh, volts is good for the video card because it's not underclocking 1006 megahertz on the video card score so it's not overclocking it's not under the clocking is just sitting there and is doing his job 29 fps on one percent is still good 38 on average and uh, yeah i would say this video card it's good but it needs some adjustment maybe to medium details or 1080p and keep ultra details because this is uh, apparently it's an exaggeration but quality wise look at this this is a fantastic game for the video card. What do you think happens if we're jumping in stalker with this video card and the system on uh, 1440p with maximum quality? <laughs> 36 FPS. <laughs> <laughs> seriously 34 fps on minimal and 30 20 18 17 oh 1% holy mother of sweet capacitors what are you doing here seriously 404 410 watts consumption from the wall the video card is maxed out 58 degrees you can actually see it's putting this video card on high temperature we played with 54 previously 53 and now it's reaching 60 degrees on this with an io gtx titan apparently it's being butchered 
captured by stalker this all 2008 game apparently manages to uh, struggle this video card to <laughs> this is a very interesting performance because on the system side i got no stress i got five ten less than ten percent load on the cpu side you know so 5.4 gig of uh, system ram and 10.3 gig of virtual memory quality wise it's good you know the game looks okay it's running okay everything is good but the core on the video card is maxed out this is a very interesting setup from this uh, game and this uh, performance this video card is offering here so frame time it's everywhere you can actually see the graph it's bananas so the moment i i jump here and look at the city it's gonna lag but uh, only if i go down no let's go down and see how it's performing there yeah usually there is performing really bad look at that the graph is already up for 40 ms in this case do i like it mm, no do i complain about it no because i know how to adjust it from here you know so if i want constant fps no problem i know i have the solution because this is directx uh, 10 here with uh, enhanced edition and i think uh, there is other options there seriously very interesting performance from this gtx titan seriously this idea of an io cooler on a legend of a video car like this apparently looks kind of interesting so i would say it's worth it if the video card is compatible with the combination like this with an uh, aftermarket uh, cooler or an io kit like this uh, go for it because it can transform an old video card like this in a very legendary old rig machine that can run almost good fps seriously i think this video card it will be much better with an old operating system because here i managed to see that the video card and i keep seeing it because i'm I try to put more games previous I, I was testing this video card and it was doing okay now i did uh, other games so keep adding games in order to see how it's performing so i keep seeing this video card still holding pretty well but i think the video card will shine with an old operating system with older games because then you will see that the video card doesn't have any problems it's a very interesting performance this video card it's got you know here with uh, this uh, 6 gig of vram amount I'm 100% sure I will not utilize this VRAM in an older operating system, but it's still good to see an overkill video card with an old operating system and old games, because this is usually something that I will do you know with an old machine it's like put a video card that is an overkill and uh, utilize it only between 20 and 40 50 percent only you know with the with every game on maximum details on highest resolution so there is option for this video card even today even when you buy the video card and put it on a shelf as a trophy even that is an option because it's a GTX Titan. I like it I recommend it and if you think it's not worth it then I understand, you know, because there's a lot of people who will buy a, a good brand new video card that is very efficient and that's it, you know, just stick with what you need only. But if you want to build an older machine and you want to have a legend in your house or on your shelf or in, on, in your computer, the GTX Titan can actually do the job really, really nice. Yes, I think in the future I will keep adding this video card to play some titles and it will be a very interesting uh, test for the video card so if you have any suggestion for this video card or for the system leave a comment smash that like button and as usual i will see you very soon